Welcome to our SDL Trados Studio tutorial. We will now show you how to start translating a document and will highlight some of the innovative and key features. First of all, let's take a look at the main areas in this translation tool. The current screen shows the home view, where you can create a new project or quickly open a document for translation. On the Get Started screen, you have access to various video tutorials to help you with your studio experience. The More Resources tab brings you many useful links. You can also keep an eye on product and SDL updates from the latest news tab. Now let's go to the Projects view. The Projects view allows you to see and control all of the current translation projects that you are working on. Information such as status and due date is clearly displayed. The file view shows all of the available files that are contained in the project, including the progress and status of each of the individual files. Moving to the reports view, you can see an analysis of your projects. Here you can see detailed information on the current progress of your translations. The reports can be exported if needed. This is the translation editing environment. You can see the translation memory results will appear at the top. Here is where you type your translation. You can also access terminology. Finally, this is the real-time preview. This allows you to see a preview of the document that you are currently working on. This gets updated as you type, without the need for a refresh. All translation tools and features are organized in logical groups for quick and easy access. For example, you can see all translation editing tools in one place under the Home tab, or all review features under the Review tab. You can also customize the ribbon and choose only the tools that you wish to use. Finally, we have the Translation Memory Maintenance view where you can maintain and edit your translation memories. Now let's go back to the home screen and open a document for translation. Click on Translate a Single Document and then select the file. Today we are going to translate a Word document. The next step is to set your language pair. Then create a new translation memory or add an existing TM. Click Open and you will now be moved to the Editor view and be ready to begin translating your document. Let's first reduce the size of the left-hand side menu. The translation area is completely customizable. If you don't have the preview on the right-hand side, click on View and select Preview. You can adjust the level of zoom and even undock the entire preview and drag it to another position or a second monitor. Let's now add an auto-suggest dictionary. This will help you when translating the document. Click on Project Settings, select Language Pairs, and then the correct languages. Verify you are in the correct language pair and select the auto-suggest dictionary from the folder. You can also add a terminology database to your project to ensure correct terms are applied to your translation. You can now start your translation. Click on the first line in the middle column. You will notice that the first segment is already translated. Simply press Ctrl and Enter to confirm it. In the second segment we have a fuzzy match. You need to complete the translation by adding the missing word. You will see auto-suggest working as you type. You can also correct any spelling mistakes by right-clicking on the words with a red underline. Terminology suggestions will also be visible. Terms are highlighted with a red bar above them. Press Ctrl and Enter to confirm and move on. Now let's have a closer look at Autosuggest. As soon as you start typing, suggestions will appear. Use the arrows or the mouse to select the correct suggestion and then press the tab or Enter key to add the word. Autosuggest will provide words and phrases from Autosuggest dictionaries, which are built from your translation memories, your term bases, and even from machine translation providers you are using. 
Let's now use Quick Place to apply formatting. Select the corresponding text where the formatting appears. Press Ctrl and Comma at the same time. Then select the matching formatting by pressing Tab or Enter. You can also use Quick Place for numbers. Press Ctrl and Comma at the same time. Select the correct number and then press Tab or Enter. The next segments are translated automatically directly from the translation memory. This segment requires a translation. Autosuggest will help you translate faster. Now let's look at auto propagation. Segment 10 and 15 are the same. Let's translate segment 10, confirm it, and watch the translation appear in segment 15. Confirm the auto propagated segment and continue the translation. You will notice that the segments in between have been matched from the translation memory. Continue with your translation. You will see more autosuggest as you translate. We have now completed the translation. But before we save the translation, let's look at a couple of additional features, such as adding a term and how to run a QA check. To add a term, select the term that you want to add in the source and target. And click Quick Add New Term. The term base viewer will appear, showing the new terms added and saved to your term base. Now let's verify the document. Click on Project Settings. Select Verification, then choose the QA Checker. You can verify segments, inconsistencies, punctuation and more. When you're done, click on OK. You are now ready to verify the whole document. Simply press F8 to run a real-time verification. All the errors will be listed. Errors will also be highlighted directly in the segment. It is now time to save your document. Before that, you can preview the file in the original application that created it. Click on File, then Print and View In, and select the application that created the file. You will now see the finished translated document. To save the target file, click on File, then Save Target As. Rename the file to reflect the language. Then click Save. So that's a brief introduction to some of the innovative and key features in SDL Trados Studio. We hope you enjoyed the demonstration.